The home garden, a place to grow, a place of beauty, a place to play, and a place where you may already see signs of our warming world. Global warming is projected to bring more droughts and floods and to benefit some pests and weeds, which will make gardening more challenging. At the same time, certain gardening practices can actually reduce your impact on the climate. The Union of Concerned Scientists is helping people all across the country adopt smart gardening practices that can reduce global warming emissions. And one way to do that is by planting trees and shrubs in your yard. It's a great way to keep heat-trapping carbon out of the atmosphere, shade your home, and reduce your energy use. So we went to see climate-friendly trees in action at Eden Place Nature Center in Chicago, which has an urban farm right in the middle of the city. Trees are so important to the environment. They clean up the pollution and the emissions that humans put into the atmosphere, and they put back out good, fresh oxygen for us to breathe. Eden Place Nature Center is a reclaimed dump and is located in the middle of a busy city neighborhood. Director Michael Howard took us on a tour to show us how urban trees can grow and thrive, even when they're surrounded by buildings and a highly used rail line. Well, the great thing about a project like this is um, that uh, we talk about climate-friendly gardening. They've got a whole wooded area of trees. We know from numerous studies that urban trees, just like um, trees anywhere, help to store a lot of carbon. They take in that carbon dioxide, they put it in their woody tissues and store it there for a long time so it stays out of the atmosphere. Urban trees have another benefit, that they can um, help cool city heat islands, which helps reduce the amount of air conditioning that's needed in the summer, um, saves energy that way, and can, can directly shade buildings um, if trees are placed strategically. And, just like in your neighborhood, understanding the importance of trees starts early. When children come out here, they just seem overwhelmed with joy at being able to run around outside, being able to explore. We talk about how the temperature on our open grassland area is usually five to 10 degrees hotter than the temperature in the woods. And we can talk about how um, ecosystems help regulate um, the weather that we experience and how um, trees, for instance, contribute to the climate. For more information about incorporating trees into your garden and to take the Union of Concerned Scientists Climate Friendly Garden Pledge, visit our website at climatefriendlygarden.org today. <laughs>